In this lesson, we're going to look at the strategy of partitioning, again focusing on addition. This method is all about using place value, those hundreds, those tens and those units. So it is very important that your child is secure with place value before they start to use this strategy. Now I have recorded the strategy on the board and I will talk through it. However, you will not be really encouraging your child to record this in a written form. Maybe initially is not a problem, but really what we want to do is press them to start doing this strategy actually into their heads. So they're actually breaking and partitioning and segmenting numbers in their heads to make it easier for them to add them together, to make it more manageable for them. So we're going to start with a very basic calculation. We have 36 adds 22. Now what we want to do is ask the child to partition those numbers into tens and units. We don't have any hundreds in this number, so they don't have to worry about hundreds. And as you can see, I've partitioned these numbers into 30, which is your three tens, and six, which is your six units. So we've basically said, partition this number up into 30 and six, tens and units. Just be careful that your child doesn't write three tens because then it can get very confusing. They think it is a number three, they add the three and the six and they get nine. So just make sure that they're actually, so that they write what three tens actually represents the number that it represents, so it's 30. Then partitioning the 22 into 20 and two. As you can see, now it is much easier for your child to add those mentally because all they're adding is like for like. They're adding the tens, 30 plus 20. They already know those number facts. They can do the three and the two. They know it makes five to get 50. And then they've got their unit six plus two, which is eight. And then recombining those numbers together to get 58. So let me just talk through that again. The first step is the partitioning of the number into your tens number and what that tens number actually represents. 30 plus six and 20 plus two. Putting your tens numbers together, putting your units numbers together. Tens numbers together, 30 plus 20 is 50. Putting your units numbers together, six plus two is eight and recombining. I have to say this is definitely one of the most popular methods that my children in class do use. They really prefer this method because it is very clear cut for them. They can just put the tens together, their units together and recombine and it is a very easy, simple method that they can follow. Just to go through the steps of partitioning and really get a secure knowledge of what you're actually doing. Step one, partitioning numbers. Segmenting or partitioning those numbers into tens and units in this case or thousands, hundreds, tens and units as the numbers do get a bit more advanced and a bit larger. So breaking or partitioning those numbers up into 40 plus three plus 20 plus five. So partitioning those numbers up. Step two, placing the tens and the units numbers together, matching like for like. So knowing that 40 plus 20 go together and three and five. You've got your two tens numbers together. You've got your two units numbers together. Step three, calculate, recombine those numbers. So once you've calculated what they actually are, which is 60 and eight, this is then recombining them to get 68, your answer. So again, talk through these steps with your child. Make sure they have a really good secure understanding of what the different steps are and what they mean. Do feel free to do it in written form and then progress into the mental strategy. But this is definitely one of the most popular strategies in my classroom.